All right, as you can see here, we have the exterior plywood laid out. I used the original boat floor to use the uh, template for the corners. Uh, so I'll mark those the best that I can. We've got our board marked up. We're gonna cut this long line here with the skill saw. Then we're gonna cut the round corners with the jigsaw. All right, with your saw unplugged, you will adjust the depth of the cut. So on this saw here, it's this lever here, and then put it to where you think you need it. And basically this is just gonna keep my saw out of the mud, because um, it's just raised off this surface just slightly. So I just put a two by four up under here to slightly raise the, the board up, so that way I don't have to get salt horses and all that stuff. Um, but that's why I'm adjusting the depth of the blade so that way it's not cutting it. It looks like the front pieces fit just perfectly. The seams fit nice all the way around, except for right here. So just a little jigsaw action on the edge. That's gonna take care of that. Still a lot left to do here. We're gonna gel coat this entire piece of plywood before we stick it in. And we still need to cut the hole out of here and uh, fix that area of the floor before we end up putting this center console back. Some mice are already living in it. All right, all the floor is solid up into right here, and it abruptly gets soft. So I want to mark this safe zone cut. The same I'm gonna do over here. All right, so this is approximately four feet or so. All right, when cutting fiberglass, you're gonna to wanna to wear a safety mask and of course, glasses at the very least. And this is what that mask looks like. It really seals well to your face. They were great, except it kind of fogs up the glasses a little bit. So what I'm trying to do is figure out where the stringer is here. I don't wanna cut it. I wanna cut on the inside of it. I'm just gonna cut right there. See what that looks like. Where are you? Where are you? Make sure not to cut the cord. Hey, 
Hey, big guy, I see you. You should get your hard hat? All right. I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer no exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough, I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But, let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But, let's be really real, anxiety can foggy yeah. all this stuff it sucks, when you finally feel like giving up Oh God, no luck, everything feels like you're sticky stuck I'm lost, handcuffed, to the bed where I sleep Don't give a fuck, can't stop, unplug Feeling overwhelmed, I think I've had enough uh, Gotta find a way to get some energy Gotta find someone who's a good friend of me I need purpose to make Well it looks like all the layers are coming apart here this is just the fiberglass floor layer. Look at the square wood pattern that this floor is made out of. That's super interesting. All right, and then I think the rest here is, yeah, it's just gonna, just gonna go. It looks like uh, we're in pretty good shape. This under here looks pretty dry. This foam is actually pretty dry. Um, I did not slice through the gas line just now, cutting right above it. So that's awesome. Uh, just got lucky there, it's super awesome. I'm gonna get that wire unhooked from right there, uh, just in case we need it. I really don't even know what it goes to yet, but it should only take a second to get that out. But uh, that gives you a pretty uh, good idea of the, uh, I guess, one way to do it, I guess, just muscle it out of there. So what I find very interesting is that this was the only thing supporting the floor. There were no cross members going this way. I didn't pull anything out. Y'all saw it. Uncut. I don't understand why this high traffic area from here to there. Wouldn't have cross member stringers going on. Just beyond my comprehension, I don't understand it. All right, so now I'm gonna get the shop back out and clean this up. I'm gonna make the cut on this edge just look a little bit smoother. And then on this edge right here, I'll just try and um, take a measurement. Yeah, I'm I may need to cut right here under this stuff, straighten out this line. And then what'll be up next is gonna be put about three cross members in there. No. 
Okay, no. Most likely out of most likely out of two by fours, and like as he says, we're gonna clean up the mess and put a piece of plywood that fits that section. Well, guys, the sun is set, and me and Ezzy need to go in and get some food. So uh, thank y'all for watching once again. My sidekick. Who will one day be a famous YouTuber? <laughs> All right, guys, y'all stay safe out there so you can return home. Still alive. Say, still alive, Izzy. Still alive. Still alive. <laughs> My main man. Daddy. Hey, hey. My dude. Yeah. Hey. All right, you ready to go get some food? Mm -hmm.